Hey, what's up guys? Gene Hack is here. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to create redirect links, branded redirect links with Builderall. So stay tuned and watch to the end. All right, so what do I mean about branded redirect links? What I mean is if you see over here, I have genehackers.com slash, and then it says genehackers dash home. So that's something that I named in Builderall. So if I were to have other pages like the about me page, I mean, not the about me, sorry, my uh, policy and terms, you would see that up here, it will say genehackers.com slash terms, right? So this is my branded link, my website, Gene Hackers. Now, if I were to put something like BA $1, it's going to send somebody to whatever I decided that I put on that link and I'll show you guys what I have so as you saw when I typed in genehackers.com slash BA one dollar it redirected to the one dollar funnel so I could send people to whatever link I wanted whether it's Builderall, Facebook, YouTube, whatever I want, and I can name it whatever I want. But as you can see on the top over here, it doesn't say Ghunkers anymore because, like I said, it's a redirected link, but it's a branded redirect link. Now, a lot of us usually use Bitly links when we want to shorten stuff and we want to send things and we want to track and see how many clicks or I use it basically for, for quick little things just to send people and I want to see if people actually clicked on it. But it's not branded to me because I'm using bit.ly. So whenever I send a link to somebody, it says bit.ly.com slash uh, whatever I put um, or it has some random, random numbers that they give you. Uh, like Let's say I usually try not to pick it. Uh, but this one is random numbers and letters that they give you. Okay. But that's what Bitly does. But now what I'm going to show you guys is that with Builderall, you can have your domain branded to yourself, whether it's genehackers or builderall.com, whatever it is that you want, or mywebsite.com. You can have a redirect link within the Cheetah Builder. Okay. So I'm going to show you guys how to do this. So I have my website right here, genehackers.com. This is my page, privacy, all the pages. And what I did, I created a new page. And as you can see right here, I have it. But you guys are going to create a new page just to follow. So when you create a new page, you're going to get the settings tab. And you name it whatever you want. Now, this is the important part right here, the address URL. So for mine is genehackers.com slash BA one dollar. So that's what's going to go on top after the slash on the address link. Page title, whatever you want. Description, whatever you want. Now this is where the money is. This is the little magic tool or actually, no, let's call it the little ninja trick that you need to put inside. This is the script. Now I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna post a link to a Google Docs where it's gonna have, it's gonna have this right here for you guys. So you can just copy and paste, well, edit this right here and paste it so that you can follow along with me. Okay. So what we're gonna do, 
we want a link to go over here, right? So what link do we want over here? Let's say we want our builder all one dollar funnel. So go to your to your dashboard, right? Go to your links. Let's scroll down to the one dollar. Right here, one dollar. Copy, right? But we want to track it, right? We don't want to use a bit.ly link. We want to use uh, Builderall's internal tracking system. And on top of that, it attaches a cookie. So that's even better. So if people don't sign up, at least it's a cookie attached so that if they later come across Builderall.com and if that website in itself had no cookie, which Builderall.com doesn't have a cookie, they're going to be attached to you. So right here, I'm going to post, which I already have it, my $1 opt-in page. This is the shortener. And remember, with Builderall, we're able to track how many people clicked on this and where it's coming from because we have a shortener, just like Bitly, that tracks what's going on with our, with our link. So as you can see right here, the dashboard. And I have nine clicks so far. I just I just did this link recently. So it's brand new. Alright. So let's go back to the Google Doc right here. So we're gonna paste that link right here. So the HTTPS, everything. And then we're gonna copy literally everything. Don't miss anything. Uh, you could miss the spaces. Try not to have any spaces before and after. So we're gonna we're gonna copy. Go to our cheetah. Let's delete this so that you guys can see I'm doing it with you. Paste and then save. And what's great about this is that you can also have your own picture. Whatever picture you want, whatever share image. Now you know with Bitly links, it's whatever it picks up from the website. But since you're doing it with Builderall, you have more control of what share image is going to be shown. Okay, but we're not done. Okay, let's click on edit image. And this is something that I decided to do, but you guys can do it differently. You could either leave a blank, but for training purposes, I'm going to delete this. I'm going to press delete. And I'm going to delete just to show you guys how I did it from scratch. So I'm going to add a panel. Panels, blank panel. Uh, let's make it, I think it's like 900, 800. That covers the whole page. I don't remember, but let's just leave it like that. 800. And we need something there. We need an element. And that element is going to be an image. Let's drag it there. Now what image is this going to be? Now I had a nice colorful loading screen. But you can get one from Google. Because that's, that's where I got mine. And type in loading GIF. And also to be on the save side, click on tools. And make sure it's a labeled for non-commercial reuse with modifications, okay? Or labeled for reuse with modifications. There you go. So that means you can do whatever you want with this and you won't get in trouble as in copyrights or something like that. So I picked this one right here. This one's pretty nice. And it's transparent, so I don't have to match it to any color like I had with the other one, the blue one. So I saved it, it's already on my computer. So let's go to Cheetah, change settings, choose my image. And what I haven't done, I haven't uploaded it. So let's upload it. Loading right here, open. Here we go. And as you can see, it says loading. And since it's transparent, I can have whatever color background I want. Whether I want a black background or a white background. 
which with this one it looks better in white but it's all up to you if you want red blue green whatever it is but let's stick to white to make it simple and I'm going to save All right, so it's saved. Now we can go back to our home. And we have our page right here. So remember, I named it uh, BA $1. So what I can do, I can actually just click right here, go to this website. And it's going to show my old one. So I haven't refreshed this. So let me do it again. It hasn't finished updating. So let's click go again and there you go it says loading and then bam it redirected to my dollar funnel so now you guys know how you can create redirect links and brand them to your domain and you can have as many links you can have hundreds thousand links with your domain so you can have genehackers.com slash you know, clickbank offer, genehackers.com slash uh, builder offer, whatever you want is attached to your domain and it redirects to whatever you want. And you have a nice uh, little loading screen like we did over here. And you can customize it. And with the builder shortener, you also are placing a cookie of builder if anybody were to buy builder some way, somehow without your link. It's cookie to you in their browser. You can track also the clicks, where they're coming from and all that. But yeah, guys, I think this in itself is really powerful because I know there's people out there that pay for services where they can create uh, shorteners and attach a domain. So you got to buy a domain, pay the shortener company like Bitly Links because I know Bitly also has it where you can brand your domain and then they'll do all their stuff but here with builder all you can do the same thing you just gotta you know you gotta know these little tricks but yeah i hope this was helpful please if this was and you guys want to see some more cool videos like this from me make sure you comment below type in build all rocks and i know that you guys are loving these type of videos all right so i hope this was helpful make sure you comment don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you guys next time peace